go to the middle. Hey guys, we're from Red Moto. So today we're going to be working on this 2022 Range Rover front bumper removal. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification. And if you guys need any prepayment auto body parts for your car, in particular this bumper, the link's down below and up above, or redmoto.com, your prepayment auto body parts source. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification. So let's get started. Alright, so we're going to start off on the side of the bumper. Go ahead and turn your wheel. And you're gonna see right there, there's gonna be a T25 with Torx bits, one right there, and right above, right here, there's another one. I'm gonna go ahead and take off those two. All right, so to take that off, you're gonna need a T25, and it looks like one of these, it's like a Torx bits. And it's gonna be two of them just like that and we're gonna take the other one on the other side too and it's gonna be two of them just like that and we're gonna take the other one on the other side too all right so we're gonna go down here onto the bumper side or underneath the bumper and hopefully you guys can see let's see here so down here so you guys can see there's like these uh screwdriver type push pins let's see if i can take one off like it looks like that and it runs all along to the bottom of the bumper so just go ahead and take a look at that and take those off This thing you can just pull down and it'll just come right off like that. And then you're gonna see just down here there's gonna be a little bit more of these push pins, but this is gonna be a flat one. So right here, there's gonna be a flat one. Just turn it like that and then pop it out. And it should look like that. So there's gonna be all around the bottom. I think there's gonna be four of them, yep, four of them. Lights up. So let me show you guys how I did this. Once you guys get the screws down there, those little push pins off, go ahead and go to one side and kind of yank it pretty hard. Like that, and it'll come right off. Okay, so there's gonna be one piece right there. I'll put that to the side. Alright, so back to the bottom we go. If you guys go back down here, let's see what we got. Alright, so right here, T T25 Torx bit's gotta go off. So it's a T25 right there. And there should be a few more right on the bottom. I'll get you guys a little bit closer. Okay, so if you guys look in the middle, just towards the front, right here and right here, there's another T25 you gotta take off. Okay, 
Okay. Oh, there's one more right here. Right back here is another one. So after this, the bumper should just hang low. There you go. So now it's hanging low. We'll go back up top. Alright, now we're gonna pop the hood because we're gonna take off this middle grill right here. Alright, let's get you guys closer up here. So, on here, we're gonna be taking off these push pins. There's going to be one right here, one right here, one right here. There's four of them right on top. They look like these things, They're like little push pins. And if I snap it down in place, you see like this like a little hole right there or an insert. Go ahead and insert that flathead and push up. And that, should, that thing should just pop right up. So we're gonna take off three more. All right, so on this one right here, I'm gonna go ahead and go backwards and just tie it up and use your hand how to put your hand in one of these like little holes right here and pull it out there you go all right so we've got a bunch of bolts down here we're gonna take off so let's see let me get you guys a little bit closer and see what we got going on all right so let's see here we've got a bolt right there bolt right there bolt right there and a bolt right there and it looks like all we got to do is uh once we're done here we just go ahead and pull the bumper off because it's just held on by these uh little tabs right here okay so let's see what this is i think this is gonna be hmm, if i'm gonna guesstimate an eight maybe or ten out of ten oh, looks like a nine okay so you can actually use a 5 16th also works but on a regular socket it's, it's going to be a 9 so 5 16th is what i'm using at all. We're gonna pull on one side first. All right, so we're gonna go on one side and pull it off. You gotta be careful because remember, you guys have these sensors and these washers holes right here, or washer fluid, um, headlight washer nozzles right there. So just pull it like that. I feel like it's getting caught up, something on the side is getting caught up, so I'm gonna take off the middle and see what's going on over there. So, on this side right here, it's getting caught up on something, so let me take a look at what that is. See if I can show you guys. So if you guys look back there, I'm sure you guys can see right back there. There's gonna be a, another screw, which is a T25. Right there. 
You guys seen that? Pull your bumper back a little bit like this. And if you guys get all the way back there, just take a look and there's a screw right there. Okay, so let's take that off. So, let's pull it back a little bit. So gently pull it back and you'll see the screw right here. So you guys can see there's another screw down there and then down here we're gonna go ahead and unplug it and i'll show you guys a few seconds what i just did Let me show you guys what happened there. I don't think I even need this. All right, so this thing right here is plugged up on this side right here. And just gonna take that off. Flathead or that clip remover will work also. And then this clip right here, you guys can see, to take it off, this thing's actually pushed down. And just pull up on this red lever. And then in the middle right here, just gonna go ahead and press down on it and then pull the uh, connector off. So that's what you guys see right there. And then right here, okay, so we got a, so right there's a windshield wiper fluid. And I know that thing connects to something. So we'll probably figure that out over here on this side. But let's go ahead and take off the other side also. So these are the connectors for the washer fluids. Let's see how you take them off. Looks like they should be clip, clicked on. I'm just trying to figure out how they click on. So maybe we can take it off from here. Let's see. Okay. So all I'm doing is wedging it flat object right here and kind of just wedging it off. That's going to probably be some water. Let's tape that up or just put it back here. There you go. So we do have one more thing to take off. This is going to be down here. All right, so I'm back here actually. See those screws right there? Let's see. This is pretty hard to see from here. Let me see if I can. So, right down here is going to be some more screws. Uh, looks like a Torx bits. It's like right here in front of the uh, mud flap. I mean, behind the mud flap. There's going to be one, two, three, and four back there. Okay? So, out of all these bolts or torx bits, you actually just need to take the middle one off which is this one right here and that should release the bumper okay and there you go all right so once everything is disconnected and the bolts are all gone you can just go ahead and go to the middle Alright guys, that's how you take off a 2022 Range Rover front bumper. Thank you guys for watching.